It looks like a... Open it! I'm not doing this! With a bad habit. Things are getting weird in the attic. <laughs> You're, intro you're introducing the show? Yes. I am introducing the show. It, we're in a new location today. I'm, why, don't you, why don't you stand up? I'm not doing that stand-up thing. You're going to stand? That, that weatherman with this, thing? With this... No, you won't stand for this amazing no, 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 no. place we're in? No, I'm not. Oof. It's so windy here, and... But also, cool. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm not doing this. How did you? I'm not doing this. How did you get here? I'm not doing this. I wonder how we got here. I wonder how we traveled to this location so quickly, so quickly. Look what I have. What is that? Jesus, it looks like a it looks like a Open it! How do you Is this a trick? Yeah yeah. Go do whatever you need to do. I mean other than break it. Can I see if there's any openings anywhere? They don't seem to be having a lot of success. <laughs> like I can feel this has, this is, I don't know. Does it push open? Does it open this way or does it open this way? Uh, it opens that way. Okay. It's actually. I see. I see the gap. Just, just like that other one that you have. It's actually w one of these ones where even when you know, it's still a pain in the butt. Like I'm not sure. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Oh, you're I'll not sure. Open. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. God damn it. Okay, so it's okay, so right here. You can see where there's the little Yeah, there's a space. Right? So you have to I guess, like Oh I said, man, it's like oh geez, like that? Yeah, you gotta like it takes quite a bit of elbow grease to to, to, to get it. It's, it's going a little Like I said, even knowing, <laughs> knowing how to do it, it's like, uh. Do, 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 do. Uh, and, I, and I can't remember the exact technique, but obviously, I, oh, there we go. Oh. Uh, so there we go. Now, the inside, now, one, one of them is, this is, of course, uh, the inside comes with puzzles. Oh my so God. So the box itself is a puzzle, but then the inside has puzzles when as well. When did you get this at? Uh, I got this actually on our last puzzle trip. Okay. Oh, that's the one you were talking about that you had to figure. It, it was a puzzle just to get to the puzzle. Right. I okay. bought. I, I, I bought what I thought was three puzzles, but it's actually four because just to get the box open is oh a puzzle. Oh my god. This one is pretty neat, right? It's literally just two pieces. Make a pyramid out of that. This was how your day started. Started wrong. Even if you're not really well-mannered, you could make a habit of being civil. As usual, all your neighbors knew how late it was when you went by at your regular dog trot. And you're almost always late. And you're guilty about it. You're in a rut with a bad habit. Distaste for your sloppy ways. You were embarrassed by your messy hair and the fingernails you had neglected to clean. You weren't listening. But we always go to the beach. You couldn't help interrupting, could you? Things are getting weird in the attic. Weirdness. This is uh, this is this is my 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 collection of weird New Jersey and other stuff. 
Weird New Jersey is a magazine that two guys started. Mm -hmm. Mark in, and Mark. In New, oh yeah, Mark and Mark, I remember. Talking about all the strange things along the highways and such of New Jersey. Yeah, like uh, unusual places, haunted houses, weird statues, and, and, and ruins out in the middle of the woods. So this magazine for years has just chronicled all this sort of stuff, but it's gotten big enough that, I mean, you can see here these hardcovers on the top. So that is no longer just weird New Jersey. Um, this is, of course, the, the original uh, hardcover that collected some of the, the, the better known stuff just in weird New Jersey. Um, and I, but then, like, right, we got weird Ohio, Weird U.S. And so, as, as they describe it, your travel guide to America's local legends and best kept secrets. But the magazine, like here for instance, is issue 45. Yeah, so it's still going strong. The Haunting of the White Hill House. My Jersey Devil, you know, yeah, Jersey Devil of sightings, of course. They usually come out, oh, look at this. Oh, it's the dino. You know what? When you first started talking about this, I was like, of course, the dinosaur. Yeah, I, and quite pass that every day. This this was a staple of, of our uh, yeah, of our youth. Not. This that 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 is right, roughly in our area. That dinosaur. So it, Route Nine. It, uh, it usually comes out twice a year. Keep them in order. Keep them in order. Oh, Eric's getting edgy. Order. I demand order. I have a complete collection here. So you have all of them. I always love the covers. Yeah. Because they always have such unusual... It was a big deal when they started. And you would go into the store and just find them sitting in like a 7-Eleven or something yeah. like that and grab them because they were this weird local magazine, this which was, was kind of odd. Oh, wait, this always a staple, like his weird cemetery stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird gravestones and things like that. Yeah, this was a... <sighs> That's a boat, by the way, people, that you're hearing. Yeah, see, abandoned mental mental hospitals. This is the kind of stuff that, that this magazine has has always. These were always real, done. real popular in New Jersey when they first came. Really out. weird um, uh, gravestones. So yeah, this issue nine, ten, eleven. You see, these are all like I bought these on the on the stands when they they came out. Oh yeah, see, even that I used to get the 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 the, oh. the newspaper. Like here's here's a, an original issue four, and it's literally it's it's photocopied. 11 by 14 paper, the hubcap tree. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, you remember the name of that, right? Tilly. Tilly. Yes. Very famous at Asbury Park, issue five from 1994. I remember this mag, I remember this. I remember going into a store and seeing the totem pole. I do remember that one. But you can see Demon's Alley, the Jackson Whites, the Albino Village, the, Ni uh, the, the Nike missile bases. Um, any anyway. I remember so the biggest things with these was like the gravity roads. Yeah. And the Munchkin Town. Oh yeah, P.T. Barnum. Yep. I always love the covers. That one too, for some reason, I remember. I yeah, remember that. That one has always stood out to me. For people who don't live in New Jersey, New Jersey's small enough. You could basically take a day out of you know go on a weekend and find any of these places anywhere because New Jersey's small enough to yeah. travel to it. You could live in the very bottom of New Jersey and three hours get to the very top of New Jersey. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. So and so like get to any abandoned then. towns. Yeah. Uh, those are the, the ones that always fascinated yeah. me. It's like abandoned towns and, and, and things like that. Yeah, re really, really cool stuff. I always love this magazine. It's almost all uh, contributor driven. Yeah, so, that's, that was the thing too, that it was always people's input from things around their town. Right, people would, strange. They would, they would submit pictures and articles and stuff like that. And yes, this magazine still comes out to this day. I didn't know that they were still making it. You can it. still uh, get it in Barnes and Nobles and, and Walden Books and, and you know, all the, huh. the bookstores and stuff, or subscribe stuff online. That's actually good to know because I always thought it was a cool idea and it was very, very popular in the state. One of my few uh, remaining cherished collections, most of them I got rid of. No, 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 keep it there because you're going to bend, you're going to screw them all up and bend them all up and stuff like that. <laughs> Jesus. I will like it. I could already see because as you were lifting them, they were like coming down. Like, yeah, it was going to be all screwed up. <laughs> Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. All right, so let me put these away now. Okay. Machu Picchu. Tune in 
next week for more of Tom Abroad. Make a pyramid, he says. And it makes a legit pyramid. A le like I can hold it in my hand. It's not a trick. No, it is a legit pyramid. Okay. I'm going to use my outside the box thinking. <laughs> there. Wow. That, I can't. No, you didn't. Oh, you jackass. <laughs> Do you know how? Uh, Did I mean, you figure this one out. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, I figured it out. But no, it's it's one of these things where once you see it, you're like, duh. Uh, it's got to come to a point at the top. Yeah, that's how pyramids generally <laughs> work. I like how just two simple blocks of wood yeah. are completely vexing. Did it take you a while to figure it out? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say that it took me a while, but it was it was enough so that I was like, what the hell? This is only two blocks of wood. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. it gets like frustrating. I don't know. Then you would, but then that doesn't make sense. I don't know. God damn it! Let's see if I can remember how to do this one right away. I believe it is. Let's see. Wait, no, it's not that. Ta da! Pyramid. Oh yeah. Oh duh. Ah. Right. <laughs> That's it. So they're the same shape, but if you do that... Okay, that is clever. Man, your brain wants to put them always facing the same way. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I kept wanting to do this or this or that. Like I, And I did try doing that, but I was like, obviously not. Right. Wait, what did you just do?
Administration. An unidentified aircraft has been located near the state of Florida. The aircraft is presumed to be foreign and may pose. Man. 